Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're here with Petunia and she is in the travel cage right now because she's sick and is about to go to the vet. Last night she was making some weird noises and I have a video of that I can put in. But she seems like smaller, skinnier, and so I think some I think she has a respiratory infection. So we're gonna take her to the vet. And the other mice are fine. We just she just doesn't seem like her usual self. So we're bringing her to the vet today. And yeah, so she's in the travel cage because we're about to leave soon. Yeah, hi Petunia. Oh, poor little girl, she's sick. Oh, hi Petunia. So yeah. Hopefully she'll be okay and they can give her some medicine or something. Right, Petunia? We're gonna take you to the vet. Hey everyone, just popping in with a quick reminder that we are hosting a slime event in Taunton, Massachusetts on November 23rd called SquelchyCon. You can check out the Instagram at SquelchyCon to find out a lot more information, but that's a great slime event that me and Joseph are hosting where you can have the chance to meet me and buy our slime. Hope to see you guys there. To leave, and I'm just gonna put some Cheerios inside of her little travel cage. She probably won't eat them on the ride, but um, in case she wants to. Go back inside, baby, come here. Back inside, <laughs> come here. Where are you going? You gotta go back in. Sorry, okay, I gotta do this. So I strapped her in the front seat with me. You need the Cheerios? So yeah, we are about like less than 20 minutes away from the pet hospitals where we live. So we are going to go there and bring her in. Her appointment's at four and it's not even 3.40 yet. So we've got time. Right, we're gonna get there. Okay, we just got here. I've never been here before because we usually take our cats to the local vet, but my vet doesn't take mice. So we had to come to an exotic um, or like a place that takes exotic animals, even though mice aren't really exotic. So we're here and we're about to go in. It looks like no one's here, so. We're a little early, which is perfect, so we can go and get her in there. <laughs> so Petunia just got done with her appointment. She weighs 25 grams. She's a tiny little girl. Uh, but yeah, so uh, Petunia just got done with her appointment. She is so tiny, she weighs 25 grams. So she was not really wanting to be handled by the vet and the vet was trying to like get her heartbeat and um, and stuff like that, trying to give her medicine and she wouldn't take it from the vet. So we're gonna have to give her this little medicine. She takes the smallest amount, um, 0 0.01, twice a day. And I I'm gonna have to hide it in food is what the vet said, but she thinks that she'd probably get better without taking medicine, which is good, but she has to live by herself for a week and I have to give this to her twice daily for a week. So I am gonna have to put her into a separate cage to live by herself for a week because they're not sure if it's contagious and they don't want the other mice to get it. So now we're just gonna head home and I'm gonna have to set up another cage for her. I think I'm gonna have to go to pet store and get her some little things to put inside her cage. I definitely need another water bottle because I don't have one to give her and obviously she needs water. So we're gonna have to go to the pet store to set up her separate little cage. So that's what we're about to go do. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully she'll feel better soon. Oh, they were all saying how cute she was. She's so little. All right. All right, we are at PetSmart. I'm taking her in with me because I didn't wanna go home and I can't leave her in the car obviously because it would get too hot, so. We are going to PetSmart and we're just gonna get a water bottle so I can put it in the cage. And then we need to get, um, maybe I'm gonna get tank cleaner. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Cause I need some tank cleaner. And then I need to get a top for it because the cage I'm putting her in is an old fish tank. That's hence why we're getting tank cleaner. Um, so I'm gonna put her in that and I need, we need a top for it because the tops we had were for fish. So they're like filters. Um, so I need that and then she can use some of their old like toys and stuff and food bowls and everything so yeah don't need a ton and then maybe some like treats so yeah and my mom has some bananas at home that I have to put her medicine in so hopefully she'll eat that so we're going in <laughs> she's in here I'm getting this for nugget since the mice love it I think nugget might want it um, but yeah we have to find a uh, water thing 
It's so funny, she's just like in the cart. I think, yeah, right here. Oh, and then the tank cleaner should be somewhere, up, somewhere around here. Okay, this is the kind that they have, so I'm just gonna get another one. Huh, she's so cute. All right, now I just need to find, oh, perfect. Cage cleaner and deodorizer. It's exactly what I needed. That's kind of all I need, and then I'll look at some treats there in the next aisle over. Their food is here. And then treats. What is this? Ooh. Those could be cute. Or, like, good. Yeah, we'll get those, just to try some new things. I think she'll like that. Oh. Seeds, they'll love this. Okay, we'll do this too. They love seeds. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. <laughs> so this is her makeshift cage. It's really little, um, but like I said, she's only gonna be living here for a week. That is one of the freeze-dried strawberries and I poured her medicine on it, so I hope she eats it. Oh, you gotta eat it. So there's like holes in here and stuff. I'm gonna make sure the cats don't get her. I had to put this like that. Um, hopefully she can reach it by standing on top of that. It's really little, like her wheel just fits. But um, I guess it's kind of good that it's small because I can observe her better. And there's not a ton of bedding because she hasn't really been digging anyway. Uh, of course now she is, but um, I feel like I can just watch her a little better if she's not underneath everything. Um, she has food, she has a couple little things to hang out in, she has water, and she has that little strawberry thing. Hopefully she'll eat it. I poured the medicine on it, so I hope she doesn't smell it and think it's bad. Because they've never had these treats before. And Buttons is watching. Yeah, I really gotta make sure the cats don't get near her. I might have to cover this up, but um, there's like air getting through. Like this opens up, like air's getting in here. This is just an old fish tank that we had. So I feel bad that she has to live by herself and it's like really sad and lonely looking in here, but this is the best that we could do for now. And again, it's only temporary. I know that I'm gonna get attacked for saying like, her cage is too small. She's literally living in here for a week because she's in solitary right now because she's sick. So yeah, poor little girl. <laughs> This is not where it's gonna stay either. I'm gonna put it, we used to have the fish tanks over there. There's no more room in my bedroom. So I'm just gonna put it on top of this and that's where it'll stay. Petunia, she's in there. She's so cute. Um, yeah, she hasn't touched that strawberry yet. I want her to eat it. They've never had those treats before. And I'm really hoping she'll eat them because that would be nice. <laughs> She's hanging out inside here. I know she really likes this thing, which is why I wanted to give it to her. The cage, I know it's really tiny. It's smaller than nuggets. Like it's really, really little. But again, she's only in here because she's in solitary. She needs to be by herself so she can get better and doesn't spread the infection to the other mice. That's the only reason she's living in here. So um, don't attack me saying her cage is too small because this isn't her cage. It's just her temporary cage while she gets better. So yeah, anyway. I think that might be the end of this video unless we do updates of how she's feeling, but yeah. So, actually, I don't know. I also just really quick wanted to say that I did cover this part up with tape and duct tape. My cats are not going to be able to get in there. They're not, um, she's fine and I'm going to be seeing her all the time. Like, this is a common area. Everyone will see if the cats really come over here, but I think she should be okay. And yeah. I'm so, I feel bad for her because she's in such a small area and she can't like do anything. She doesn't have the other mice, but this is what she needs to do so she can get better. So hopefully she will be feeling much better within a week, like the vet said. So yeah, this is probably the end of this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully Petunia gets better. Please click like and subscribe and in the comments, um, wish Petunia to get well better or get, <laughs> get well soon. And we will see you guys later. Bye.